ultimate, man. Only an ultimate will you see a matchup like this. Or some weird Mugen playlist <laughs> on Salty Bits. All right, immediately gets the reflector out. It's like, I, that's actually good because Ryu and like Ken has really good projectiles that are like very easy to abuse. So, uh, Kero having that reflector is pretty good for him. Oh my God, dude, that is so much percent. I, re I like how he confirms off of the crown. Like the, it's very similar to how like Toon Link or the, any of the links they um wait for the boomerang to come back and then like they hit you from you not blocking it. Yeah. Kind of looks the same way it seems. Boomerang powers the crown, the the cross from Belmonts. Oh yeah, yeah, them too. There's a lot of boomerang like moves in this game actually. Oh, yeah. there's a down throw. First time seeing the down throw. Yeah, and it makes sense here that uh, Kirby Kid would go for down throws instead of trying to maintain stage control. It's here, it's like, trying to punch Ryu probably recovers those would be a little bit more difficult than Kirby Kid's previous opponent, but great roar back air. Yeah, that no first thing so strong. Yeah. Watch out for them Ryu jump ins, man. Jump in on you with that nair, get like a really easy, like, shift pressure. It's like, a lot of times, I don't even try blocking it. I, I just try to whiff punish it, because you can't really get it out of shield punish most of the time when they fall on top of you with that move. Like, there it goes again. Yeah, it seems really difficult. Even if you did shield it, still would have been in, like, tilt zone. Yeah. Would have just had your shield pressured. Whoa, oh, with a dash God. attack! What? <laughs> that move is insanely strong. You know dude. what? I bet Lieutenant Surge was trying to get a Tatsu out too. To like challenge the recover or the the approach of Kirby Kid. Yeah, he's going for it a lot. I know it's really strong, but Kirby Kid's not falling for it whatsoever. I mean, it does it's supposed to yeah. have that like projectile durability too. Yeah, it has projectile invincibility as well. But, but we damn, just saw, like, was so heavy that he, did, he didn't even die to it. That's crazy. Oh my god, he almost died to the sweet spot up here. Oh! Okay, free punish. I think he could have up aired him again, honestly, when he just air dodged on top of him like that, when he was in the air. But he didn't go for it. Well, he may have just been expecting that if he threw out an up air, that he would have caught the the focus attack, because focus did come out. Oh, yeah, I forgot. He doesn't have a multi hit. Right. Yeah. That's what Ooh. caused some struggle for Kirby. Uh, the crown puts him towards him, right? Yeah, that makes crown so is much dumb. Sense. Crown is so dumb. It acts as the boomerang comes back, puts you in perfect position to get comboed. That was cool. I didn't know it pulls him towards K. Rool. Nice setup, dude. Kirby Kid, man. Thanks, man. I don't think anyone's ready for this guy's setups at all. We might have a winner's finals that's K. Rule Pac Man. That's like the Elite Smash classic right there. <laughs> Alright, let's see if, uh, let's see if Surge can adapt. I think K Kirby Kid did pretty well at, uh, Congo Saga 2, when he came. I think he was like the highest placing K roll in general. I believe it. Kirby Kids definitely goes in. Oh, that's another thing to notice that the crown will go through the level. Yeah. Oh! Who does that? What the heck? Who does that? Who does that? Tell me one person who does that. Have you ever seen someone get spiked like that on the ledge? That's crazy. A rule? No way. I didn't even know they hit below the ledge. Me okay, either. making it up though. Making it up.
Wow, being able to nair it immediately up to... Yeah, Carol, I think they changed Carol's nair as well. To make it uh, safer. And then in Florida, damn it, Surge. Okay. Oh, I knew it, I knew it, yeah. The Carol's down there is super easy to two frame with. That was clean. Really good timing. Look, he's going for it again, because he knows, like, if it hits. Oh my. Alright, Kirby is going crazy right now. Yeah, not so much. Surge does happen. not know what's happening. <laughs> uh, snap. So that's what he's really trying to abuse. Yeah. Big down. Oh my god, it was completely safe. Big down smash from Kirby yeah. Kid. Oh, the great. And Lieutenant Surge is He's dead. Is he, he charged it a little bit. But yep, another down throw <laughs> into tilt. That's game two for Kirby Kid. Man, game two looked even. Like, I don't. Somehow he played even better game two than game one. It was. And how does he, no, how do he speed run these games, dude? Like, the fastest matches are with the K rule. Like, this guy doesn't waste any time. It goes in. Alright, tennis surge. Do you think he's thinking about the Jigglypuff? <laughs> I don't. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I. I want to believe in the Shoto because the Shotos are strong, and K rule's huge. So being able to pressure, cross up, get big damage on him is easy. And with the way that do you, do you that think he has a Ken? I've never, I've never seen him play Ken. He has a Ken. I don't know if he does. I've never seen him play Ken either. But it looks like he's sticking it out with Ryu. Yeah, he needs to kill power of Ryu. Jigglypuff's not gonna cut it, man. Alright, he ran it back to Smashville. Let's see, let's see what happens here for Lieutenant Surge. I honestly feel like he didn't even get enough time to really adapt, because he's got... He's kind of got ran over, man. Ever since he got back air, like, spiked through the stage at, like, 20. <laughs> It was just the Kirby Kid show from there, but uh, much better display right now. He's definitely slowing it down. He's trying to wait out Kirby Kid's aggressive approaches and, you know, punish from there. It's kind of crazy, though, how heavy K Rule is, because every other normal character. Not ah. that, yeah, yeah, nice. But yeah, every other normal character would have died to that Tatsu so many times, but like, K Rule's just eating it up like it's nothing. Well, it definitely looks like the Tennis Surge regained his composure. Yeah. Not letting Kirby Kid uh, dictate the tempo of the match. Yeah, and honestly, I think that's what it's going to take because just from what I've seen, Kirby Kid with momentum is uh, not someone you want to mess with. Oh, yeah, he's not sure how to deal with that neutral B. Ooh. Is he going really deep off stage? Yeah, nothing you can do about that. Nice drop zone there from Kirby Kid. Really, really strong edge guard. Yeah, a couple oh. of up airs. Oh, getting oh my god! Up that double up air is. Oh my! All right, he's getting hit by. Oh my! Stop! Please! Okay, no, he's. Okay, it, he could have. He could have died there though. If no, he it was the early recovery from the Tensor Surge. It was the early recovery from the Tensor Surge that kept him in the game. Oh, into the Tatsu, not Carol's too heavy to die from that. He should just go for the destroy you, honestly. He'll die off the top earlier. Oh my gosh, he's barely living. Even using the focus attack just in case the cannonball did connect. Yeah, smart recovery there, but oh my god, another rogue for there from Kirby K just doesn't care. Tatsu will do it, and use the projectile and vulnerability. Yeah, use the projectile and vulnerability. Isn't it from the games, though? Doesn't Tatsu go through projectiles in Street Fighter? Uh, Pretty sure it does. Yes, I think one of them did. I don't know. I don't play in a Street Fighter. Anyway, Kirby has brought this back pretty hard. 
He's throwing everything at this Ryu right now. Okay, what? Ten surge still okay. plasma. Chuck it. Yeah, yeah, and he's, play, he's playing the mid range really patiently too. Oh, I don't like that F smash though. We, uh, that was a really bad toss in the crown. Oh, nice. Gonna go for the down throw? Oh, up smash. Caught the mash out with the up smash. That was beautiful from Kirby Kid. 3 0, oh, he's going. Where's 5?